If you've been watching my channel a while, you might remember that I got an air fryer a while back. It's been several months now. And I have been loving using that. Even the kids have been loving using it. Um, it's really easy for kids to use. And I've been loving it so much that I was ready to upgrade to one with uh, some more features. I started experimenting with making beef jerky in my air fryer, which was really fun. Um, but the air fryer that I currently have only goes down to 170 degrees. Um, and so I wanted something that would go a little bit lower. Also, the one that I currently have, you can only set for an hour to run. So if you're gonna dehydrate something, you have to come back every hour and restart it. So um, I was looking for something that would work as a dehydrator as well as an air fryer. Also, we have a big family. So finding something that was even bigger w was going to be really helpful. I also was excited to get away from nonstick coating inside my air fryer and I did a bunch of research and this is what I landed on and I will go ahead and say here that I did purchase this myself it was not sent for free when I do reviews even when I do get stuff sent for free I do my best to give an impartial judgment on it and share with you guys uh, my experience my truthful experience but I did just want to mention here at the front that I did purchase this and I am not being compensated in any way for this unboxing and this review so without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed and show you everything that comes with it. And then I am going to do a test with some chicken wings. That's been one of my absolute favorite things to cook in my current air fryer. And so I wanted to do a test run with that and see how this one does and if I get the same delicious results. So uh, let's get started. It is a 12.7 quart electric rotisserie air fryer oven. The brand is Go Wise USA, and I looked at a lot of different um, air fryer ovens on Amazon, and this one did have the best reviews, so that's why I went for it. I got the white uh, version, they have a black version, and then also a red version that I've seen in reviews. I didn't see the red version for sale, otherwise I probably would have grabbed that just for fun, uh, but I didn't see that one, so I went with the white because for whatever reason it was $10 cheaper at the time. I ordered it. And the price that I paid for this air fryer oven was $149.99. Of course, prices are always fluctuating on uh, Amazon, so who knows what it'll be now, but I will put the link down below to um, the one that I got. All right, let's get this open and really see what all it comes with. So first off, we got the paperwork. Information about the GoWise company, air fryer oven user manual, and there are the three colors like I mentioned, quick start reference guide, and then this is some recipes, and this is actually a very beautiful recipe book. It looks pretty heavy duty. 50 recipes, pepper crusted steak, steak fajitas, lots of meat, pita chips, fries. Oh look, they have a recipe for beef jerky. I'm going to have to Look at what they recommend for that. All right, here's one of the racks here on top. So a lot of the air fryers on the market have like a basket that you push into a drawer um, that you cook your food in, but this is actually an air fryer oven, which is a little different, and so it has racks, kind of like a regular oven would have, and so you can cook multiple things at a time with the racks, which I think will be extremely nice. This is a big one. <laughs> for the big reveal. Oof. There we go. So like it says on the box, it comes with a lot of accessories. Very excited about all the different options you can use for cooking. I absolutely love how stinking cute it is. It reminds me of like an easy bake oven that I never got to have as a child, but always wanted. So here are all the accessories packed in here. I'm pulling out my handy dandy manual so that I can figure out what all of these things are. Oh look, this is it right here. Rotisserie steak cage. You're supposed to squeeze this and you take off the lid, you stick your steak in there, you put it back, put it back in, and then it has these little things on the end that go into the rotisserie and it can spin and cook your steak perfectly evenly. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. This looks like something for the rotisserie. And look at this cool thing. This is for like cooking fries and probably wings you could do in here, I imagine. Anything that you just wanna cook really evenly, it spins it. All right, so it looks like this goes with this so that you can put that in the oven. 
and spin your food. Okay, this here is a tool, I believe that's just used for getting things in and out. Because if you have your stuff on your rotisserie, it's difficult to um, get it out with everything being so hot. Put it like, ooh, something like that. And so you're able to get it in and out. Same with the chicken on the rotisserie or anything that is using the rotisserie. So they have a rotisserie for a whole chicken that you can put on there or other big pieces of meat. And then also the same uh, assembly can do skewers. So it has like shish kebab skewers that you can fit into this uh, spinning thing. So you can do a rotisserie shish kebab dealio. So I think these are all parts for that. So these fit together something like this. And then you're able to take your skewers and then you're able to load this whole thing up and it'll rotisserie your shish kebabs. So exciting. And then these are the accessories for when you rotisserie a whole chicken. They, I think, fit on the this shaft over here. Um, so that shaft is used for quite a few things. So much stuff in here. These are two more racks. So you can have three three racks in here. The first one that I showed you first. And then these other two are like mesh and these will be great for beef jerky or any other kind of dehydrating. I'm excited about those. And I'm excited that there's the option to do three whole layers at a time. And then I have a feeling I'm gonna be using this a lot. It is a mesh basket and I think I will use this a lot um, when I don't wanna go to the trouble of using the rotisserie basket. Um, I think this will come in really handy. So the last thing in here is the drip pan, and I believe this is the only item in the accessories that does have a nonstick coating, but I don't believe you typically cook anything on here. It's just a drip pan, and having the nonstick coating uh, helps in cleanup, obviously. So I'll show you real quick how the racks go in, and then I'll take those out and try to set up the whole rotisserie thing so you can see how that goes in. They have little grooves in here so you can just slide in your trays. So I got the two mesh ones here, like that. And then here's the regular one. Then instead of one of the racks, you can use the basket and it just slides into the grooves with the handles like that just like that so i feel like you can get a fair amount of food in here um, and like if you have something that's tall you could take one of these racks out and use just one at the bottom and then have one at the top um, there's just so many options for being able to cook whatever it is that you're wanting to cook I also love that you can cook multiple things at a time, like if you want, if you want to have potatoes up here and some meat down here, um, you, have, you have those options. You can even put some skinny veggies down here. All right, so I think I have figured out the rotisserie deal. You use the same shaft for any of the rotisserie accessories. So you stick the shaft into whatever hole. On this, I'm just using the cage for this demonstration and then it comes with these screws and on this cage there's only one spot to put a screw on the shish kebab holder you put a screw on each side and it just is there to tighten down and so this shaft is not sliding around and then you'll notice that the sides of the shaft here are different there's a like a small end and a large end and the large end goes on if you're facing it on the right side of the air fryer the small end goes on the left. So do you use your little tool like this and you stick it in and you have to put in the large side first, slide it in there and then set the small side in. So you can see the large side fits into this little hole here and the small side just sits and rests on this little clip. So now I'm gonna get my accessories washed real quick and then the manual suggests running the air fryer for a little while to get rid of any remaining residue and it says it can smell a little bit but that dissipates pretty fast. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken wings started. 
So as per the manufacturer instructions, I am going to cook, cook the air fryer at 350 for five minutes uh, with the drip pan in, and that's supposed to burn off any of the residue that's left. So this has 15 different presets, and what the preset is is just a time and a temperature, and it is adjustable, so you can, what it says in the manual is you can press any of them and then adjust it to 350 and for five minutes. So I'm gonna hit the power button, and then this menu button is what toggles through the different presets. So you have to, ooh, the beeping is very loud. I wonder if there's a way to turn that off. I didn't see that as an option but that beeping is very loud. Okay, so manual, um, and then let's see, temp. I'm gonna go up. Oh man, that beeping is, that is like the biggest drawback at this point. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna go to the time. Oh. Down to five minutes. And then I'm gonna hit start. There it goes, and there is a light. There's this little light button up here. I'm gonna press that, oh, yep, there's my light. I'll turn it off so you can see the difference. Off, on, and my kitchen's pretty bright right now, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So I have some wings here, and I am just gonna to toss them in this seasoning mixture from Trader Joe's that I've really been loving. Uh, you can use any kind of seasoning mixture on your wings or you can just cook them plain and then toss them in buffalo sauce or barbecue sauce or any sauce after they're cooked. I'm going to use my steak cage, see how that works. Uh, so it's going to spin it while it cooks. I could cook more wings than this in this air fryer if I used some different accessories, but I'm excited to try the rotisserie. So I'm going to use the steak cage. I'm just going to get these coated real good. I'm gonna try to get them in a single layer so that they all get exposed to the hot air. Might not get all 12 in here. It might just do, what is that, nine. Nine wings, so that's a pretty good single serving. So the lid just pops on like this and you can adjust it to whatever level the food is at so it keeps it secure in there. Now to get it into the air fryer, the air fryer is warm, so I am going to use the rotisserie tool to get it in there. So I did want to mention that the steak cage actually has its own little shaft pieces on each end, so you don't have to use uh, the shaft that goes with the other rotisserie tools. You've got to do the small end on this side and then the larger end on this side. So I'm going to get that in. It really isn't too bad. There, just like that. And let's see how this goes. So they have a wings setting and in the manual, they do have all the different temperatures and times that each setting um, is. But of course you can adjust any of these. So if you find that you like your wings or whatever differently, you can figure that out and adjust for yourself. So to get it started, I'm going to press on. I'm going to press the menu button until I get to the wings. I'm going to hit the rotisserie button because I am using the rotisserie. And then I'm going to hit the on button again. And there it goes. Look at that. So we'll see if 15 minutes is enough at 400 degrees. Cook time finished, so I'm going to pull them out and see what it looks like. It looks like I would like them cooked a little bit crispier. We'll just ooh, pull it out and see. They don't look too bad, but I would like them crispier. So I'm going to go ahead and put them back in for maybe seven more minutes. And the recipe that I had been using in my other air fryer was um, 380 degrees for 25 minutes and then five minutes at 400 degrees. And that was from this old gal's blog. She has a recipe for air fryer chicken wings and that worked out really well. So I may just continue to do those temperature settings um, in this air fryer as long as I'm getting the same results. So I'm gonna throw this back in um, at 400 for seven minutes and we'll see if it looks a little better. So let's try this again. They look a lot better. That looks a lot more like it. They look absolutely delicious.
let's see how this goes. Oh, that came off nicely. And there are my delicious dry rubbed air fryer chicken wings. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out my new kitchen toy with me. I am going to continue to play with it and I will bring you along as much as possible. Feel free to pass along any of your favorite air fryer recipes that you'd like to see me try out. And I guess that's it for me today. I will talk to you again real soon. Mm -hmm.